So today I'm going to show you how to use MPLAB X, its simulator, and the debugging system for the Atmega328 that is commonly found on the Arduino Uno. In this case, I've connected up an LED to A0 on the Arduino, which happens to be port C0 on the Atmega328 chip. I'm going to open up a C code that I've written in uh, MPLAB X, and it's got about three lines of important code that makes that LED turn on. I'm going to put a breakpoint at the very first line of the main function, and I'm going to set up two views, the IO pin and the IO view, as well at the bottom of the screen. This allows us to see both uh, port C pin 0 and the entire port C as well. And I'm going to make sure that port C is visualized right here in the IO view and clean that up so that we can see that panel. Next, I'm going to run the debugger and it's going to halt on the breakpoint found at the beginning of main. Now that I've halted it, I can go to window and then open up the disassembly view for the debugger and move that over to the right hand side where it will be side by side with the C code so that when we step through the disassembled code that the machine basically reads, um, we can compare it to what we actually wrote in C in the first place on the left. I'm going to use the F7 key or the step uh, into function in the debugger to be able to step through the individual assembler lines. Uh, and you'll see that it actually takes multiple assembly lines to get through a single line of C. In this case, this is the very beginning of the C function. And we have to step through multiple lines of assembler code. And then we're going to turn port C uh, into an output using the data direction register for port C as we're doing right now, and you'll see that the mode will go from D in or digital in to D out, which means digital out. The LED still doesn't turn on because we still have to turn the voltage on. Make sure that it's a voltage of zero first. And now we're going to turn it on using the port C register set to one, which makes a logic one and an output voltage of five volts. We still have to step through a few more lines of assembler code to get to the end of the main function. And we're doing that right now, step, step, step. And then we will be done completely. And there you have it. This is how we take a look at a simple piece of C code on the Atmega 328.